Hey friends, welcome back to Holistic Health at Home. Welcome to this channel if you're new. My name is Leslie. I'm a certified regenerative detoxification specialist and owner of Whole Talks, where we take a holistic approach to detoxification. I am super excited about today's video. It's a different format than what we're used to on this channel, but I've been getting so many great questions in my inbox and my private Facebook group. Rather than trying to answer all of these questions individually, I felt it may be more beneficial if we start to examine these case studies together so we can all better understand what's going on in the body during these various conditions and how we can support the body to move through these issues to get to true lasting health. Quickly, before we get started, I want to thank everyone that sent in their questions and agreed to have their case included in today's Q&A so we can all learn together. If you have any questions or you would like to have your unique case included in the next Q&A, please send me a message and let's talk about it. Now, without any further delay, let's get into the Q&A. The first case and set of questions reads, Hi Leslie, I'm a 50-year-old female with masses in my lungs and lymph nodes from sarcoidosis. I'm having difficulty staying asleep, but have no trouble falling asleep. I juice every day, celery first, then two punnets of black grapes, five lemons, a fist size of ginger to help break up mucus, but I'd like to do more to step up the mucus and congestion removal. My body is constantly in fight or flight mode and I shallow breathe by default. How can I strengthen my adrenals and increase lymphatic drainage if the typical Dr. Morse protocol is not producing the results I'm looking for? All right. Thank you again for sending in uh, your, your case and your questions. Uh, there's a lot going on here. So let's just start from the top and we'll work our way down. Uh, so masses in the lungs and lymph nodes, uh, regardless of what condition this is, we know that the body is in a high state of acidosis. Now, quick chemistry lesson for everyone, just a, a recap. There are only two sides of chemistry. We have acids, which burn and destroy tissues and cells, and we have base or our alkaline chemistry. And that is how we fight acidosis in the body. Um, so we we're always going to hydrate and alkalize first and foremost. I want you to smash in the fruit, uh, which she's obviously doing. And, and I know that this individual has been working on her detox journey for some time now, well over a year. Uh, so she's juicing every day, starting with the celery juice, wonderful, and then she's stepping it up with the black grapes, the lemons, and the ginger, all of these wonderful astringent fruits. Now, what do we mean by astringent? Astringent just means that the, the fruit or the fruit juice pulls on tissues. It literally, as you, if you can imagine, biting into a lemon and all of the tissues in your mouth puckering and constricting. That is what we mean by astringent. These foods and, and even some of these herbs have these wonderful astringent properties. So as you ingest these foods, they are literally pulling on the mucous membrane as they move throughout the body. They are gently pulling on that lymph and trying to get it to break free so it can move throughout the body, get to the kidneys, and, uh, and from there on. Uh, so we know that chemistry coagulates or it clumps together when it becomes too acidic. And that's exactly what we're seeing in the lungs and lymph nodes here. So always 100% keep hydrating. You're doing fabulous here. So she has difficulty staying asleep, no trouble falling asleep. This can point to a congested or a weakened pineal gland. You can try using some herbs like valerian to try to regulate that sleep cycle. Um, also look at possible fluoride sources in your diet. This could be uh, in your drinking water, depending on where you live, or products like toothpaste. There are plenty of products out there that are fluoride free um, that still help take care of your teeth, remineralize strengthen, clean, whatnot, without calcifying the pineal gland. So as we continue to clean out the body, we're always going to work on cleaning out the head, uh, first and foremost, uh, really cleaning out the bowels. The head sits on the bowels right on top of the trunk. So once we get the bowels to start cleaning out, the head will follow suit. You're on the right path. Keep it up. 
Uh, but with that said, as you enter these higher levels of detox, you're, you're just flooding your body with all kinds of electrical energy from these foods. And you are really entering higher levels of consciousness. Consciousness does not need to sleep like the body does. So your physical body may be tired and ready for sleep, but your consciousness is turned on. Uh, if you are struggling with this uh, sleep schedule right now, it may be beneficial to kind of back off and slow things down a little bit. Incorporate some more grounding foods, whether that's salads or steamed vegetables. Uh, even sometimes throw in a little bit of avocado or, or something a little bit more substantial that will help slow down the detox. Now, just because we slow down a detox doesn't necessarily mean that we are recongesting the body. You're simply moving at a slower pace where your body can keep up with the amount of energy that you're giving it and not just keeping you up at night. So as you continue cleaning, play around with this and see what resonates with you. But it may be beneficial to actually slow things down a little bit if it gets to be too much to handle. Moving back to the case now, she would like to do more to step up the mucus and congestion removal, and that's wonderful. But if we go back to the beginning, she's struggling with masses in her lungs. Whenever we're looking at really heavy lung congestion, it can be possible to move too much lymph too quickly. And when we talk about lung congestion, we want to get our hydration more from our whole foods, our whole fruits. Uh, juicing can often loosen a lot of lymph really quickly. Uh, now, obviously, this individual has been on her detox journey and working through uh, what resonates with her and her body for some time now. So I trust that she is always checking in with her body to see what it needs and then giving it what it needs. But I would suggest not adding to the amount of juice that you're already getting in in a day. I would suggest just keeping up with the whole fruit and getting your hydration and alkalization in that way. Another thing this individual could try is some daily dry fasting. Now friends, let me be clear. Uh, dry fasting is not recommended for most people right off the bat, just starting detox, and it's not recommended for advanced cases. It is simply too strong of a protocol to dive into. You have to hydrate and alkalize your body well and, and do that for some time before you start to attempt some short daily dry fasting. Now, in this case, I would uh, suggest try 12 hours overnight. For me personally, I found that dry fasting between 9 p.m. and 9 a.m. works really well uh, for my schedule and my lifestyle. Uh, as long as I am well hydrated and I'm not already experiencing symptoms of dehydration, then uh, you know I can uh, do this dry fast overnight. Most of the time I'm sleeping throughout that period of, of time and I don't even realize I'm dry fasting. And shortly after I wake up in the morning, I get to work and break that dry fast with some fresh juicy fruit or some fresh squeezed juice. Uh, so that would be another thing to help break open the kidneys and to really force the kidneys to start focusing on kidney filtration rather than just fluid regulation. Okay, her body is constantly in fight or flight mode and she shallow breathes by default. Uh, anytime we see things related to the nervous system, we immediately turn to the adrenal glands. So when we see shallow breathing, the fight or flight mode, that stress response constantly in overdrive, if you're shy or feel timid, uh, all of these things are related to the adrenal glands. And we know that they are uh, suffering here. And she already knows that connection and immediately follows it up with a great question of how can I strengthen my adrenals? Beautiful question. There's a lot that we can do to strengthen the adrenals. And so I want you to try what works for you and, and keep at what resonates with your body. Um, a lot of this will depend on getting into a better sleep routine, which I understand you're struggling with that right now. Keep cleaning as you're doing and try Valerian, maybe try Dr. Morse's sleep formula uh, to see if that is uh, beneficial for you. Um, also meditation, grounding, take your socks and shoes off, go stand outside in, uh, in the dirt or some grass, reconnect with mother nature. 
spend some time out in the woods, breathe that fresh air uh, to try and regulate your circadian rhythm. Also to strengthen the adrenals, we want to turn to berries. Now, the adrenals, again, are related to the nervous system. The nervous system is the most electrical system of our body, so we want to give that system the most electrical foods possible. And berries are nature's most electrical foods. So in order to turn on and regenerate our nervous system and our adrenal glands, we want to smash in the berries. Now it doesn't quite matter which berries, just whatever you like to eat. And the last part of her question here is how can she increase lymphatic drainage if the typical Dr. Morse protocol is not producing the results she's looking for? This is a great question and this is something that I've seen come up in myself, in my clients, time and time again. If we look at her case, she's already hydrating and alkalizing. She has been doing this for some time now. Uh, at this point, we can start to tweak and you know incorporate a couple other uh, routines or techniques to try and help things along. But at this case, we do need to start looking at the emotional and spiritual aspect of detox. Often when we reach a, a physical plateau in our detox, it is due to trapped emotions uh, or unprocessed trauma. Now, I don't know this individual's history, uh, but I want to encourage her to do some digging. And this might take some time on uh, your yoga mat in meditation. This might take a place outside in nature, um, wherever you feel most comfortable and most connected with yourself. Take some time uh, to see where you're holding on to stress. Uh, what anxieties you have yet to let go of, um, what worries you're holding on to. And uh, with this, I also highly recommend not only for this individual, but everyone on this journey, get into a hobby that really, really brings you true joy, that gives you a sense of fulfillment and accomplishment and get lost in that hobby. It is so very important to understand and learn how the body works and, and to pay attention to your lifestyle choices, to, to really pay attention to what you're putting on your body, um, in your body, what you're breathing, what you're drinking. All of these things are so very important, friends, but it is also way too easy to become obsessed with this and to allow it to rule your life. And in doing so, we create this low level stress and anxiety that we hold on to. And that alone can prevent a proper physical release. So I, I really encourage you to uh, first off, keep up the amazing work. You're doing wonderfully already uh, to step up mucus and congestion removal. Take it easy, you know, especially with the heavy lung congestion. Uh, this is such a marathon. It is a lifestyle. There is no need to rush it in most cases. In some cases, we have no choice. But at this point, you are on a beautiful, beautiful path. Keep it up and uh, just believe in the process. Give it time and Take some time to really focus on the mental and the spiritual because I feel like that is the missing key for so many of us. We really have to get quiet with ourselves and, and learn what's going on up here so we can let that let that BS go <laughs> so we can let all of this you know properly release. So again, thank you again for sending in your case and all of your great questions. Keep up the great work. Okay, the second case and set of questions reads, Leslie, I'm a 38-year-old female. I went through in vitro fertilization twice with no happy ending and never again, by the way. And ever since then, my left breast swells each month during my cycle to the point I've had to sew two bras together. This is unbelievable. I'm so sorry. A tissue biopsy says it's very estrogen-dense breast tissue, but you would think with my period that estrogen is supposed to drop, not increase, so that brought me on to researching my lymphatic system. 
which my lymph glands are always swollen and hard in my groin and breast area. And I've been told multiple times by naturopaths that my adrenals are in overdrive and my body's defense mechanism is on red alert. To add to that, according to doctors, I have lupus. I'm also gluten and dairy free and am plant based, but do eat fish every now and then. How can I break down and remove hard lymph nodes, particularly in the breast and groin areas? All right. Uh, again, thank you for sending in your, your case and your questions. In vitro fertilization, anytime we are uh, doing anything with our hormones, whether it's hormonal birth control or procedures for uh, fertility, um, we need to focus on cleaning and strengthening the endocrine system. Our endocrine glands are going to be um, off for a while until our body regulates itself, until we are able to clean and decongest these glands and allow them to start functioning properly again on their own. Uh, so when we're talking about the endocrine system, we're looking at all of the glands from the pituitary, the thyroid and parathyroid. We're looking at the adrenals and the gonads, in this case, ovaries. I would highly recommend getting on some endocrine supporting herbs. And if you can afford it, I would recommend Dr. Morse's Fab Four Kit. It's a great four herbal formula kit that you can use to help strengthen your kidneys, bowels, the lymph, and the endocrine glands. So it's a, it's a really great system that you can use at home to really get things moving in the right direction. Um, just like the adrenals, the endocrines love berries. It's another very electrical system. It requires a lot of energy to clean and regenerate our endocrine system. So smash in the berries however you can, whether you're eating them by the handful, throwing them in smoothies, make yourself a beautiful fruit bowl in the morning. I don't care. Just get excited about your food, guys. This lifestyle can already be challenging enough but I want you to be excited about what you're eating. If you don't really care for blackberries, then don't force yourself to eat blackberries. If you love blueberries and can't get enough, then smash those babies in. When we see the left breast swelling, we immediately go to the lymph. Um, we, we see there is stagnant lymph, um, cell waste is not moving out of that area, but interestingly enough, we can see the difference in kidney filtration. Now guys, we have two kidneys, one on each side of the body. The right kidney will filter out the right side of our body, and likewise, the left kidney filters the lymph on our left side of the body. Now, if her left breast is swelling each month, we can literally see that her, her left kidney is not filtering as well as the right kidney is. Uh, so at this point, definitely, if you're not already, get yourself some kidney supporting herbs, get on some kidney tea, get yourself a kidney tincture, whatever you need to do to break those bad boys open and allow that filtration to occur and move that lymph. Now, once you do achieve some kind of kidney filtration, I would also recommend looking into neurolymphatic massage points. There's great videos out there. I know Dr. Morris has a, a free PDF on it on his website. Uh, so there's simple manual manipulation that we can do at home to help drain the lymph in different areas of the body. So something to look into. Now with her adrenals being overactive, this can potentially point to a pituitary weakness. So that might be an area of the body to focus on, but just continue cleaning out your body as you're doing. Um, with that said, it is important to note that hyperactive conditions often become hypoactive conditions once that gland just burns out from being hyperactive so much. So something to be aware of, um, just because you're maybe suffering with some hyperactive conditions doesn't mean that it will all Always be that way when you do start to clean out your body and your body starts to show its true levels it will drop to where its true level of function is and so don't be surprised if that hyperactive changes um, someday just understand how to support the adrenals keep getting in good sleep um, rest meditation uh, yoga grounding, you name it. But again, always be smashing in those berries, guys. Smash in the berries because berries are brain food. They're also adrenal food, nervous system, right? They're linked to everything, but they're so electrical. They just turn everything on, everything. So get excited about berries if you're not already. 
Now, when we look at conditions uh, like lupus, we know that the body is in a highly acidic state. Um, we can potentially be seeing rashes, um, ulcerations, swelling and pain in the joints, a shortness of breath, which again will tie back into the adrenals and a weakened nervous system. So we're seeing a lot of lymph stagnation. Now that lymph, always remember, is holding on to acidic cellular waste. Acids burn and destroy tissue. So until we are able to move that lymph out of the body and get that waste out, that will continue to burn and, and cause irritations and discomfort. Um, so it is important to understand uh, the healing crisis. Again, watch that video if you haven't already. Um, but continue to clean and strengthen from within. You're doing wonderfully. And the last part of her question is how she can break down and remove these hardened lymph nodes, especially in the breast and groin areas. Great question. Keep hydrating with the juicy fruits. Get on some herbs to support your body as needed. Whether that's Dr. Morse's Fab Four or his Heal All Tea, there are simple things you can do to support your body now. Uh, at this point, I would recommend cutting the fish out. I know you only eat it every now and then, and that's okay. But if you're really serious about moving that hardened lymph out, then it's time to hydrate and alkalize. So step up the fruit. With all of that said, friends, I want to reiterate the importance of balance on this journey. It is too easy to fall out of balance either way. So whether you are new to detox and you're struggling with cravings and you don't know where to start and you're feeling overwhelmed, I want you to breathe and just start with picking up a piece of fruit Make yourself some herbal tea. Uh, watch a couple Dr. Morse videos and start to learn a little bit more about your body and about your lymph system. If you're already a seasoned vet and you're working your protocols and this and that, keep rocking it. But when your body asks you to slow down, do that. Honor your body and give it the breathing space and the room that it needs. Uh, so at that point, guys, just have fun with this journey. Again, find a hobby, find a different hobby that you really love, that brings you joy and fulfillment, that can help take a lot of your time and energy and your focus, but always keep this in mind. Um, always be learning about your body, about truth, about consciousness, um, because that's, that's where the real fun is. When you start to learn how to turn your health around, there is no more joy and freedom that you can get. So I want you to keep rocking it. Again, thank you so much to the individuals that sent in their cases and their questions. This is how we learn and grow together, guys. So please, again, if you have any questions that you want answered or if you want your unique case included in the next Q&A, send me a message and let's talk about it. Thumbs up if you liked this video. Subscribe if you want more. I'm Leslie sending you love and health.